chilling testimony in Lawrence today at the trial of a teenager accused of stabbing and beheading a classmate. During the opening statements, the prosecutor read a text message where the suspect allegedly said the thought of killing people made him, quote, smirk. WBZ's Lisa Gressy is live in Lawrence tonight with more on today's testimony. Lisa? David, Lisa, it's been three years, and now the list of people who could possibly be testifying is in the hundreds. The first two to take the stand knew both of the teens. He was a really good person at heart. The family of 16-year-old Lee Valoria Polino sat behind the now 18-year-old Matthew Borges. The man police believe stabbed and beheaded the teen in November of 2016. Lelani De Jesus told the court she kept a journal with Borges while they were dating. The last entry from Borges. And it reads, go chill with him at his crib alone, drink, smoke, and play it off. Kill him. Call JM and Scooby, tell him pull up, then take everything. Bring duffel bag, wear gloves, clean up mess, wear bags on shoes, wear clothes you don't care about. De Jesus also said Borges would sometimes get jealous. He yelled at me about me being friendly with Lee. Also on the stand, Stephanie Soriano. The prosecution read messages they say were between Soriano and Borges. I think of killing someone and I smirk. I like the sound of it. The idea of causing pain on someone who's getting in my way or who's causing me pain. In an audio message, the court heard him talk about dead eyes, what it means, and how he will have them soon. Don't shine full of darkness. Soriano's testimony isn't over. The two talked up until Lee went missing. His grandmother broke down as she left court. A family friend of hers told us as emotional as today was, unfortunately, this is only the beginning. If you use your mind, one person like that guy, only a, a little kid, don't don't do something like that alone. Tomorrow, police officers and family members are expected to take the stand. Borges' attorney declined to comment. Reporting live here in Salem, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.